Guillain-Barre syndrome is a rare neurological disorder in which your immune system mistakenly attacks the nervous system causing weakness and is often provoked by a preceding infection. It may be complicated by respiratory failure or autonomic dysfunction. The disease is often triggered when an immune response to an infection reacts with shared components on our peripheral nerves. The response develops against myelin which is the protective covering of the nerves. The damage blocks electrical conduction along the nerve and prevents nerves from transmitting signals, causing weakness, numbness, or paralysis. The myelin usually recovers over several weeks to months however, in a small percentage of patients, there is superimposed nerve degeneration with delayed and incomplete recovery. Campylobacter jejuni infection which is a gut bug that causes gastroenteritis is the most common precipitant of the syndrome. Incidence of 1 to 2 cases per 100,000 per year. Incidence increases by approximately 20% with every 10-year increase in age beyond the first decade of life. Clinical features include progressive and symmetric muscle weakness. Patients may also have sensory symptoms and dysautonomia. Weakness in most cases starts in the legs and can vary from mild difficulty with walking to nearly complete paralysis of all limbs, facial and respiratory muscles. Some patients may have dysautonomia a disorder of involuntary functions such as ileus, gastrointestinal obstruction, hypertension, or hypotension. Symptoms typically progress over a period of two weeks reaching an adhere after four weeks. Disease progression for more than eight weeks is consistent with the diagnosis of another entity which is called chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculoneuropathy. Diagnosis is based on clinical features and supported by diagnostic testing including Cerebrospinal fluid analysis, which shows elevated protein levels. Nerve conduction studies, NCS, and electromyography, EMG. Serologic tests to detect autoantibodies. Patients must be under hospital care. Treatment is immunotherapy with either intravenous immune globulin, IVIG, or plasma exchange. Approximately 80% of patients are able to walk independently and more than half recover completely by one year. However, severe motor impairments persist in more than 10%. About 2 to 5% of patients will develop the chronic relapsing weakness of CIDP. If you enjoyed, please subscribe.